Hi. So um, for this question, it's going to be a system of equations because you have two unknown variables that you're trying to solve for, right? So uh, it says that Anthony is faster than Bob and Anthony and Bob each walk 24 kilometers. The sum of their speeds is seven kilometers an hour and the sum of the time taken by them is 14 hours. Which among the following is Anthony's speed? So in order to find what their speeds are, you want to know how many hours they spent walking because speed is um, distance over time, as you know, with the kilometers per hour unit. Um, so in order to find the speed, you want to find the amount of hours they each walked. Um, so that's the first step. And that's how I approach this problem. So to solve the uh, equations, let's set up our variables. So I'm going to let a equal the number of hours Anthony walked and let b e equal the number of hours Bob walked. Okay, and well, for system equations, we need two at least, right? So the first one, we can answer with the total number of hours they walked in the problem we, we know is 14. So we can just say A plus B equals 14. And then um, the sum of their speeds is seven. So how do we represent that? Well, remember that speed is distance over time. So we can represent that. So we know they're each walking 24 kilometers an hour. So that's the distance, right? But we don't know the time, which is the amount of hours they spent walking. Um, so let's set it up like this, 24 kilometers over A, that's the unknown. So this is representing the speed for Anthony. And then add it to the speed of Bob, which is over B. Um, speed for Bob. And then that total is given in the problem. That's seven kilometers an hour. Okay, so this is a setup for the two equations that we're gonna be solving. Um, so let me move on to a different board so we have more space. And so to solve the problem, we have those two equations and we can we have two different variables, but we want to have one and solve it in terms of one variable. So what we can do is for the a plus b equals 14, all put it in terms of a, for example. It doesn't matter which one you pick, but you gotta stick with one variable. So we can do, we can solve for what b is, 14 minus a, and then plug that as a representative into the equation we had with the 24 over a plus instead of 24 over b we're going to do the 14 minus a as the representative uh, value of b and we know that equals 7. So to solve that equation you need to make sure you have all the same common denominators um, and so you'd have to multiply each term by a times 14 minus a. So 24 over a plus a 14 minus a times the 24 14 minus a. That way we get like one, we get rid of the denominators so we can work in terms of like an equation rather than this fractional thing going on. Um, and if you multiply every single term in the equation by the same value or same like term, um, it's equivalent. So you can do this. And then the A crosses out like this. 
And then we are left with three, three, six. Um, no, oh, yeah. So twenty four times fourteen minus a plus twenty four a equals seven a fourteen minus a. So for the sake of time, I'll just simplify this out for you. Um, it would be if you multiply everything out, um, 7a squared minus 98a plus 336 equals 0. And if you solve the system of equations, you'll get two values for a, a equals 8 or a equals 6. And because we know the total is 14 and we know that Anthony is faster than Bob, that means Anthony spent less amount of time walking because that would equate to a uh, faster speed. So we would go with A equals 6 and then so Bob would be B equals 8 um, because the total has to be 14. So then um, you can find speed by doing 24 over the amount of hours they walked. So Anthony's speed should be in the end 24 over 6 which is 4 kilometers an hour. So I know I simplified some things and didn't really go through each step, but that's just to keep this video shorter. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.